Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. I have a Lidjoy unboxing. It's my actual first Lidjoy box, well, the full box. I have done a few other Lidjoy bits and bobs on the channel, which I will link down below, but this is Magical Classes. Sorry for the weird lighting and the reflect. It's super stormy outside. It's just stopped raining for like five minutes. If you hear like an actual proper storm going on, it will not be an epidemic sound sound effect. <laughs> just saying. Um, but yeah, uh, this is super cool. I, I always love the art of these books boxes. <laughs> then we have divination here. Charms here. Transfiguration. And this is my favorite part. Potions. I mean, look at look at Snape's face. He's so not here for it. <laughs> and of course, the front of the box. I will uh, I will absolutely be keeping these boxes for storage. I don't think I can fit them in my display case, but storage will happen. I also have a few add-on items. So basically what happens is um, for every box, Lidjoy will open up add-ons for, I think it's about a week for their Lunicorn members. And to be a Lunicorn, you have to pay about 10, I think it's 10 bucks a month. And then you get a you get $10 worth in points, which is, if I'm not mistaken, 100 points. And you can use the points to get discounts on every order or just like exchange them if you have enough of them. Um, you won't have to add all extra money. Uh, exchange them for um, add-ons, which are then, well, they do end up in the actual LitJoy store later on. So you don't have to have to be a Lunicorn, but you just get quicker access if you are. That said, I have just cancelled my Lunicorn subscription because I'm sick and tired of paying customs. And um, this was a birthday present for my husband that just came out super late because I shipped him super late. Um, but yeah, I'm so tired of paying customs that I've just decided to cancel my Lunicorn subscription. And my Joy one, I will have one more box coming in though. Um, because my husband paid it for me basically. I will say, I am really disappointed about how they handled this box. First of all, yes, I totally understand that because of COVID, there was um, uh, a, a restriction and a complete shortage on some of the things like ceramics they needed for this box. I absolutely understand that. Uh, but the thing is, they kept on delaying it. The communication about it was not that transparent. And at one point, they just started sending them out in like super small batches instead of just saying like, okay, we're going to take like a full day and just ship them out all at the same time. Because I had to wait about a week and a half for mine to send, be sent out, meaning that lots of people had already received theirs. I mean, like after like the first and second wave of boxes had arrived, mine wasn't even shipped. And on the website, it was like, oh no, it's shipped. And I was like, no, it, this hasn't been shipped. This, this order has not been fulfilled. And I had to send them an email and they did respond quite quickly, but they immediately gave me my, my um, shipping number and basically sorted it out. And I was like, so how much longer would I have had to wait if I had not addressed this matter, you know? So I was not cool with that. And I hope that does not happen again. And I, I know this sounds like me nagging, but I just wanted to put it out there, especially if you're an international customer and you are buying these to grow your YouTube channel, which I am not. I mean, I'm just doing YouTube for fun. Uh, I wanted to learn how to edit videos. <laughs> it's still a work in progress. And you know, what better subject than myself, you know, <laughs> at least I don't have to bug other people. Um, so you know what I mean? So I'm just doing this for the funsies and I'm just getting these because I love Harry Potter stuff and the Joy legit has cool things. So might as well unbox it, you know? But yeah, um, Bert had to pay customs on this and I, it was nearly 40 additional euros in customs on top of everything. So if you're in Belgium, just be aware that you will be having, you will have to pay customs. And I got three add-ons which were all in the same box. Um, but I'm pretty sure that had they been in a separate box, he would have been charged customs twice because that's how customs is. But 
enough of the longest intro in the universe and let's get into it! First up is the cheat sheet, which looks like a Hogwarts schedule and it looks like it's got spew meeting. So that's clearly Hermione's. And I will hold this up a little bit closer so you can see it better. If it doesn't glare too much at least. I will take a picture. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really, really cool. And then on the back, it has the cheat part, which I will keep for last. But I will be giving that to my husband, who is a Hermione collector. You should get something out of this, I feel. I am opening the first box. I did see somebody else's video like ages ago, so I have an inkling of what's in here. But um, I can't remember everything. Oh, fun! I like this. I, I've wanted one of these for ages. This is a divination class teacup. And look, it has this nice china print. It's a very small cup. But I like it. It's got the flower print is different on both sides. It just says... What does it say? <laughs> Magical collection on the bottom, like the literal logo thing. But then inside it says, my dear, you have the Grim. Look at how cool this is. I am, I am totally vibing this. This is for sure a keeper. Is there a saucer? Because that would be good. Let me see. I'm literally rummaging through it to see if I can find a matching box. And apparently I can. Hooray. I hope it doesn't fall off the so far because that would suck yes yes there is look plate i really love how this looks like old-timey china don't you i mean look how cool this is it really looks like what divination class china you know looks like in my head from reading the books so i'm going to put this on the floor so he can't fall off and break. Now I have a box that says Mandragora Officinarum. Officinarum? Yeah. Ah, more on the back. Mandragora Officinarum, uh, also known as Mandrake, is a powerful, restorative and has been an important plant for centuries in witchcraft, sorcery and healing medicine. This Mandrake forms an essential Part, sorry. Fun fact, I can actually read better without my glasses on and this is not the most legible print. <laughs> so, get back to it. Um, the mandrake forms an essential part of most antidote and often and is often used to I give up to retain to return people who have been transfigured, petrified or cursed to their original state. Plant your favorite seed or flowers in your mandrake pot or style with artificial stems or leaves. Each ceramic planter has a drainage hole in the bottom and comes with a removable pot base. Warning, the mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. Do not remove a mandrake from its pot without proper ear protection. Well, there we go. I kind of feel like I should be including like the mandrake. Oh no. Oh no! Oh snap, this has come broken. Huh. This is in like many pieces. See? It's all shards in here. See, this is another thing with the entire we are waiting for ceramics. I mean, would people really be upset if this was plastic, which was less breakable? I know I wouldn't be. I know plastic isn't great either, but if you're not gonna chuck it and keep it for ages and ages and ages, like... Also, you could get bioplastics that degrade, so, you know, biodegradable plastic, LeJoy. Just suggesting it, because... The thing is, I could totally contact LeJoy about this, but they'll send another man in, and I will have to pay customs on the replacement, so... So no, I can't actually replace it. I, I will talk to them about it and say like, look, I don't want to pay customs. But here's the itty bitty mandrake. Um, 
who now is jarless, poor thing. But yeah, I will probably buy a tiny fake um, succulent or something for him and just <laughs> put him in the display case without a spot. Darn it, I actually had a fake plant for that pot and everything. I remember the pot. I'm really upset about that. <laughs> Packing slip, okay, I don't need that. Then we have potion ingredients. Salt and pepper. Whether you're creating an antidote, draft or solution, using the finest quality ingredients in ensure the best potion possible. Potioneers should fill these potion bottles with their favorite variety of salt and pepper to sprinkle on into their cauldrons as needed. Remember to brew all potions carefully and with patience uh, into clean cauldrons to achieve proper effects. I really love the design of this. Artwork's awesome. I approve. I appreciate. And if it's not broken, I will also appreciate it because who doesn't love a good piece of kitchenware? Cork stoppers. Um, crookedly braced sticker. Um, yeah, it does have holes in it, so that's that. So basically, if you have like fancy salts, you could just put the cork stopper on it, which is good. At least it's not broken, which is also good and also crookedly placed uh, sticker. I'm not entirely sure if they have to go on that way or not, but um, I think these are more display case items than actually usable items, which is kind of a shame. Also, there's like lots of residue on the the rubber, so I'm not entirely sure in how far this is. Well, of course, if I were to use these, I would wash them before using them. But I think there's just gotta be display case items to be to be honest, because eh. <laughs> I'm, I'm not super amazed by those. Um, next, I remember this and I remember thinking like, okay, <laughs> fine, but bags like these have been doing the rounds for ages and they're cheap. And I feel like kind of like on one hand you can't go, oh no, we're waiting forever for the, the ceramics because it's sustainable and then just go and produce nylon crap like this, which is not sustainable. This is actually super bad for the environment. And I'm not throwing shade on people who love this. Absolutely not. If you had, you know, if you buy this and you love it and you use it, great. So this, this just like came off immediately. But yeah, uh, this is supposed to be like a McGonagall item. It's not even very big, it doesn't really fit that much, but you know, I guess it's cute. It's got a tabby cap on one side and then some um, explanation, of the, the instructions on how to fold it back in and sure, the art is cute and it's cute. And if you don't have a lot of space and you can just hang it, clip it onto your bag, it's practical because you know reusable bags are still better than plastic bags but <sighs> I'm just not hyped about it as you can see I love this though I, I really love the photo strips and I keep on I kept on hoping that in an add-on I would be able to get the Fred and George one which I don't have but no luck so far but I do have this one which first is a Luna and Lockhart. And then it is, I believe one of the Patil twins holding her um, Dumbledore's army corn with Lockhart photobombing again. Then Trelawney is investigating and Lockhart is photobombing again. And then it is some of the Hogwarts ghosts with Lockhart photobombing again. <laughs> <laughs> this is super super fun. I love this. This is just a simple thing, but I adore it. It's gonna go on my Luna shelf. Um, good stuff. 
I do love this because I love monster book of monsters things. And now I'm going to have to <laughs> film an edition for my upcoming monster book of monsters video. <laughs> Because I, I, I finished it for 13 days of Halloween, uh, which I'm doing. And obviously I filmed a few videos that are already finished and ready to go up. And now it's sky arrived. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. It's a storage container. <laughs> Approved. It's also ridiculously soft. Oh my God. Where can I find a few yards of storage? fabric this incredibly soft and make a sweater out of it or like a blankie just like cut it off like two yards give it to the cats they'll have a field day my god <laughs> i love this um i know it's like just simple fabric covered storage book that says monster book of monsters with a monster book of monster face but um this is the kind of stuff i'm here for even though it's like random af Okay, this is um, an astronomy class thing. It's cool art, but it's also like a lunicorn um, promo thingamajig. But I think it might be a cool poster as well. Tableau. What does it say? <laughs> Let me check that. Tableau une uranographique et Cosmographic. Okay. Yeah, this is super cool. I, I love this. Do you ever look up at the night sky and imagine a place where people just get you? Just as stars connect to form constellations, the Ludicorns membership community comes together to shine bright and share their love of stories. And then it's just more promotion. How about it? Read it yourself. <laughs> but it does have a code to get 20% off. Use code ASTRONOMYCLASS20. Up to December 31st. I will put this up for people that want it. If these are pins, that would be rad. Dang it! The design of these is so cool. Come on, camera, focus, please. If it refuses to focus, I will put in a picture. These are magnets. Sadly. <laughs> oh, that's too bad because <sighs> these are such cool dark arts. Well, unforgivable curses magnets and I wish they were pins. These would be such amazing pins, but yeah, okay. Put them on the fridge that has magnets, I guess. Ah, a print. I, I actually like this because it's, I love the prints. They're so cute. Might put it there with my a homemade Ginny Weasley print. I actually made that, but it can go under there or next to it. Fill on the empty, the empty bit in my filming setup. <laughs> but yeah, cool beans. I, I like this. I like this a lot. And then lastly, before I get into the add-ons, is a burgundy pouch for the spell coin. And the spell this time Let me move on to the add-ons because, um, like I said, these are not part of the actual box. This, these are all the items that come in the box. No, I should probably check the cheat sheet first. <laughs> so, Wingardium Leviosa collectible coin. Yep, foldable cap bag. Magical class esteem art print. The seasonal potions shakers. Yeah, they, they, their stickers are definitely not on all crooked. Showing on here, so <laughs> mine are just eh. Then the baby mandrake planter should have looked like this had the pot it comes in not been completely smashed. Um, the Ravenclaw, <laughs> Ravenclaw common room photo strip, 
Monster Book of Monster Storage Book Teacup and Saucer. I love the teacup and saucer. Yeah, um, of all the regular items, the teacup and saucer is definitely, definitely my favorite. I mean, look at it. I, I love it. I will, I will gladly have a De Grim. Fun fact, I actually have a tattoo of De Grim in his teacup, which I will insert a picture of. Um, but yeah, um, as for the regular box I will just get that out of the way, I am kind of torn. I would have been super happy with the entire Band Drake set, were it not that half of it is broken and due to customs can't be replaced. I love the Divination Teacup, uh, like the print, I love the Monster Book of Monsters um, box. So for me, this is definitely not a fail box. Uh, it's it's not the best box I've seen Lidjoy do, but it's absolutely not a bad box either. I had a Wizarding Trunk box uh, this summer and that was a massive disappointment. I will link the video down below. I don't feel disappointed by this box. Sure, I'm disappointed by them insisting on using a material that is like, likely to break, but Let's be honest, out of the of, out of the four ceramic items, only one got broken. That's still one too many, but you know, uh, mm, it, that at this point, me just being annoyed. <laughs> but yeah, then my first add-on is this divination headband, which will probably not show up properly as usual. Ah, it actually, no, it's not. I will have to take a picture. It has like this knot. I'm not going to try to put it on on camera because <laughs> I need a proper mirror and I'll just see myself in a tiny, tiny screen. Um, that is going, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. But the fabric is very stretchy, very soft. So I, I don't think that would give anyone a headache. I doubt it. Um, yeah, and it's got um, cauldrons orbs, you know, fortune teller orbs, divination teacups, um, witchy symbolism, um, yeah, like it a lot. Well, for sure insert a picture because that is not gonna work out. Then I have a notebook because one can never have too many notebooks. I don't tend to use these for other than flat lays because they're just so pretty and I don't want to write in them. But, ah, this is nice. This is Unfogging the Future by Cassandra Vablatsky. I'm not entirely sure if this is um, the Cassandra that is Trollani's, what was it, great-grandmother? But on the back it has like explanation on how to read teacups with a the grim which is fun i like that i like that a lot it's very very cool and then it just says unfogging the future by Cassandra Vablotsky here as well and then inside you get this design <laughs> and somebody's clearly because it's supposed to be a divination handbook has made a doodle of Trelawney which is <laughs> super fun I'm, I'm so here for that and in the back Somebody's been playing <laughs> gallows and spelled out God's Wallop. And what, what is this called in, uh, in English? Tic-tac-toe, because we call it Oxo, so. Ah, uh, fun times. And then the rest is just aligned pages. Nothing special there, but I, I really like the gradient coloration, the design. It's not that super. Um, elaborate, but it still really, really works. The foiling's nice, the mod, uh, the addition of the mods is nice. This is fun. Good times. I, I really like that. I'm actually kind of like nearly more excited about that add-on than some of the items in the box. Well, no, I am that pepper and salt thing. Gosh. Aha. I love this. First of all, this is a passport sticker if you have a legit magical passport. I would show you mine but I kind of don't know where it is. Oops. First you get one of these rings. You can open up to put everything you want to go on. It's a gold one and then you have all the thingamajigs you could put on it if you were so inclined because this is the Quidditch ring. 
Um, I have another one, the Weasley Sousa Weezes one. I will link down below to it. But I will, I will for sure make photos of this because this is the Beaters thing, I think. Because this is a Hogwarts Quaffle. This is definitely a Bludger. And this is a Beater Bat. So there's that. Then there is the actual key. Look how stunning this is. It's a broom, as you can see, with the Quidditch goalposts. And then you have the golden snitch right there. Super cool. And it is front and back, same thing. And it says, gosh, what does that say? Like, ah, Nimbus, okay. So I'm not entirely sure whether this is supposed to be a Nimbus 2000 or a Nimbus 2001. That it does not say, it just says Nimbus. Uh, I'm trying to get the last one out, but it's really deep in there. And then we have a, oops, sorry, dangly Quidditch dip bit. How cool is this? I love it. I mean, and then you could obviously flip them all through. So you get a keychain with all of them on. Or you can just put them back in and display them. It's really fun. They're, they're really, really beautifully packaged because this slides in here and it's part of the LeJoy Aloha Mora collection. So yeah, that was it. That was everything I got. Regular box items plus the three add-ons. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite item and if you had gotten the subscription box, would you have been happy with it? Uh, did you get it? How, what did you feel about it? Are you a subscription box person? Let me know in the comments down below um, which one you subscribe to so I can check it out or just leave a comment and say something about the video. You know, um, if you do leave a comment, please be kind. And I will stop waffling because I feel like I have done more than plenty of my share of waffling for this video. And I will see you tomorrow for another day of 13 days of Halloween. Bye. And yes, I know this is not Halloween themed, but hey, magic. Uh, it's a stretch, but I feel like it still fits.